Hey, what's up guys? This is Derek from 4x4 Weekend Warrior Greg Sutton. This channel is all about 4x4 Weekend Adventures. Whether you are a retired person, a student who is still studying, or a full-time worker like myself, just get out there and have some fun. If you like what I'm doing in here, if you like the, my con the contents that I create, uh, please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe below. Now also, um, I'll also put, put a link in the description and make sure you search the full name of the, uh, of the page. Hey, what's up guys? So, this time we have decided to visit Bremer Bay. Bremer Bay is a remote town that, has, that is surrounded by lots of different four-wheel drive access beaches. Um, and it's definitely not a one-day trip. You can easily spend a few days here. Um, in our case, we have decided to come to this reef beach. It's a very calm beach that is surrounded by uh, by a reef system and that's why it is a really calm place to stay in As usual, there is something I need to remind you all viewers um, Tire needs to be deflated before we enter the tracks uh, That is to protect our tires and protect the tracks as well uh, It provides you better traction At the beginning of the Reef Beach track, it is very straightforward. It is basically a sand track that takes you to the beach. As you get closer to the beach, the track gets a little bit more overgrown uh, and, and I have come across a section of limestone and rock steps. To negotiate this section of limestone and rock steps, you do have to have a bit of technical skills and careful wheel placement. That is how I do it. Seriously guys, make sure you pack up your rubbish uh, um, when you go camping, it is really not cool. If you want to make sure, if you want to, uh, if you want the beaches or campsites stay open, make sure you pick all this out. My wife and I spent a night in Reef Beach. It was a little bit windy this time, but it, was, it wasn't too bad. Um, and then we decided to pack up and had to pile up in it. After we have left the campsite, we encounter a huge dune system. We said, wow, how can we have such a big dune system next to the beach? It feels like there's a beach and then suddenly there's a desert next to it. What a paradise! And then we've decided to uh, spend some time playing on a dune. What? You want to know how I climbed this big dune? I put it in third gear low, right foot down, 4000 reps per minute, and it took me all the way to the top of the hill. And then I got scared, because the other side of the hill it's a steep drop, it's almost vertical. To tackle a descent like this, it is best to use second gear low. With second gear low, 
The car moves faster than the sand, so the rear end will not overtake the front. Guys, comment down below. What is the steepest descent you have ever done? Let me know. After leaving Li Beach, we managed to find a track that took us all the way to Palinok Inlet. That track was so much fun to drive on. It all started with a simple dirt track, then it becomes overgrown, muddy and also severely eroded. At the end, we managed to get out of the track and, and enter Palinok Inlet. Hey guys, this is my current setup. So this is a Mitsubishi Triton 2017 MQ. I think it is a pretty good vehicle. Uh, after a certain mileage, I'll do a re I'll do a review of this uh, of this four wheel drive. Now this is my current setup. I want to keep it as light as possible, uh, while I can keep the comfort as well. So I've got it. I've, I have it set up as a my terrain tire, uh, rock sliders. I've got a nice 270 degree awning. Uh, I've, I'm using a portable water heater as well as a pop up ensuite. So, uh, the reason why I choose this pop up ensuite is that uh, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty light sort of thing to use uh, instead of having a permanently fixed ensuite that weighs around 10 kilos. I do have a bit of a a GVM issue if I go over if I if I go for that option and this is my basically my drawer system in the same time it is my kitchen so this is my table I've, I've removed my tailgate and replaced with this table and basically it's a clone of a track table and now uh, I've got gas in there and I've got this pantry pantry pelican case and some firewood inside as well I've got a sliding, uh, a, a drawer, a sort of slider, silver slider on the top that is made of aluminium. Uh, That's where I put my spare tire because I've increased the tire size that um, it doesn't really fit under the car anymore. That's why I use this as a, a spot of a, for the spare tire and, uh, and my recovery gear too. I have got a water system in the front next to the headboard of a, of a Triton. Basically, I've got a water water tank in the front, and um, and also a sub tank as well. We've got a on. Um, it's not an awning. It's a rooftop tent. Uh, it's a pretty good rooftop tent uh, because it prevents you from getting wet if it is raining, and when you get when you try to climb into the rooftop tent, you, you're not wet. So it's pretty good. Um, some roof lightings as well. Uh, the front, I think it's a 50 inch LED lighting. Uh, at, at night, it really gives you a fair bit of spread and also a side lighting as well, uh, especially for night driving, night bush forest driving. So that's, that's my setup at the moment and I'm pretty happy about it. You may notice this time we are traveling by ourselves. Uh, we we we're having a solo travel. In other words, um, why? Uh, well, we've got some friends, but sometimes you can't you can't get your friends out here. They they may have something to do. Then then what? You've got to get out there. So basically, my point the point I'm trying to make is that just get out there and have some fun. Um, if you have to wait until everyone is here, uh, you may have to wait for ten years. Bit exaggerated, but that is how how usually it works. Just get out there and have some fun. And the oil. Welcome to my to our kitchen. So this is basically our kitchen in a car. We do everything in here. We prepare every uh, ingredients. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you a nice bush recipe that is very convenient to make. 
Um, we've got some minced pork, we chuck all of that in, and we're going to, we are going to make a pasta sort of thing. Um, what is this pasta? Marine, marinara. Yeah, so marinara pasta. And we've got some uh, uh, minced pork in, we need to put some more oil, because my wife complains about no oil. And this is a really good um, spray oil to, to bring to your, uh, to, your, to your trip, to your adventure, uh, because it's just easy to bring. And we've got some salt. Uh, it's nice to have, a, have some salt stored in a small container. How much salt? More. Just like that? More. Yeah. So we have some salt in. Um, what is this? Tomato. So diced tomato in a tin. That's so easy to, um, to handle. Do you need this? Yeah. yeah. Black pepper. Not a very good device to use, but it kind of does the job. So what we also need uh, is a bit of a windshield. I, I've left it at home. Um, I'm sure with a windshield, the uh, the stove fire won't won't be won't be very sensitive against the wind. So what I'm using as well is a two ring fire burner. Um, it's actually pretty pretty strong, pretty easy to use. Now I think that is enough pepper. What's next? Tomato. Diced tomato. Okay. We can put diced tomato in. Heat it up. All of that. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Put all of that. Oh. That's quite a fair bit in there. Okay. Do we need to back wash it? Uh, no. There's no need to do that. No, there's no need to do that. Pasta sauce. Yes. Half of it? Half of it? Mm, yeah. Oh, this thing doesn't want me to open. We have got some... Oh, this is annoying. Oh, that will do. Okay, half of it. Try half of it, sir. Okay. Yeah. It's more than a half, but it's okay. Can I have some uh, mushroom? mushroom. Want some mushroom as well? We've bought a can of mushroom, but uh, we uh, when we pack things, we forgot to take this out. Um, anyway, we'll use it. All of that. Half. Half of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, remember, cooking in a bush. Uh, simplicity is a key, so don't overcomplicate yourself, otherwise you will regret. <laughs> yes, you will definitely regret. Don't don't bring everything here and, and chop, chop, chop and chop everything in, you know, anyway. Maybe we can chop pasta in. Yeah, so, so the last thing we put is pasta. So in this case, we don't have to use, uh, we don't have to cook things separately. So we, we've got moisture in there, and we might have to add a little bit more moisture in the pasta. Uh, so that allows our pasta to absorb a bit of moisture. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think uh, that should be enough, okay. right? Yeah. So basically that, that is that is completed. And then we'll just wait until the pasta kind of uh, gets cooked. We need, more water. we need more water. So we get some water. Water. Mm -hmm. Do we have cheese this time? No. We don't have cheese. Okay. Is that enough? That's enough, isn't it? That's is that enough? enough? Yeah. I think that's enough. A, a, bit, that's a little bit more, yeah. yeah. Right. And then we just have to wait until everything gets cooked. Mm -hmm. We can put a lid on, decrease the strength of the fire and just wait, mm -hmm. wait for that to happen. Now, how long has this been? Around 15 minutes? 
Yeah, around 15 minutes, just check it out. Uh, I mean, take, open the lid. Uh, we, by the way, we're using a bit of a stainless steel camper oven. Um, it's a really nice oven that uh, convection, uh, that transmits heat by convection. So it's really good. Um, so wait until it looks like this. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. Wait until it looks like this. That consistency. Now it is ready to be consumed. What's up? Good morning. Look what we have got. Uncle Ben. I call it instant rice. Um, together with some tin sort of food. I think it's, what is it? Tuna. Tuna. So tuna with a bit of instant rice. What a, com what a good combination for a breakfast. And it's pretty quick as well. Within around 10 minutes, everything's, everything gets cooked. And uh, just make things Mix, mix things together. Weekend Warriors, thank you so much for watching. Your support is very important. If you enjoy the content that I create, please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Hey, what's up guys? This is Derek from Albany. Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up guys? This is Derek from Boba Boba Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can get you out of this as well. We do every day in here. 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 We do every day in here.